Hi there, this is Amanda Frankel with our Crafty Playdate and we are making Christmas cards today. So this is actually the August Christmas Club, but I know it's September and actually my August Christmas Club classes are happening in the very beginning of September because I had a bunch of stuff happening in my family and I needed some time to get some stuff done and so I had to take a little bit of a break, but we're still making 60. Uh, we make 12 cards every month from July to November, and by the beginning of November, actually before Thanksgiving, you will have all 60 cards made. So stay with me. I'm teaching you how sometimes to cut differently, uh, to save paper, things like that. Uh, but if you're in the Chicago area or if you're coming to visit somebody you know, come to class. It's so much fun. And you can find my classes on Meetup, and I actually will... Um, I actually will post that in the description so that you can join if you're interested. Okay, so this is one of our cards in Christmas Club and I'm actually going to edit it a little bit because this ribbon is retired and I didn't know that till I was about to do the video and went to find the item number for it and realized that it's reti retired. So I am going to uh, change it up just a little bit in the in the video, so hang with me, bear with me here. We are starting with a cherry cobbler base. And when I say a base, I'm gonna fold it here while I'm talking to you. When I say a base, I'm really saying a piece of eight and a half by 11 that has been cut in half. So one piece of eight and a half by 11 is really going to make two Christmas cards that are just the normal size that'll fit in a normal size envelope for you, okay? So that's a good savings right there. So there's your cherry cobbler base. The next piece we are going to be using is this right here. And this is distressed gold uh, specialty paper and it is in the annual catalog. Uh, it is very dear to me, I am out. So I definitely need to order some more of this because I thought it was so fun. Uh, you may remember in one of my birthday card videos, I used this as the beer in the glass and it worked perfectly. But that's the piece that we're putting here underneath our designer series paper. This card is, by the way, so fast. You're gonna, you're gonna love how fast this card goes together. And this is a great layout. So even if you're not into making Christmas cards, if you have a different, if you celebrate a different holiday, or if you just need a birthday card or an anniversary card or something like that, um, this will work really well. So one of the things, I've got a little little hairy line there. One of the things that I love about our grid paper, I love a lot of things about our grid paper, but with this grid, I could place my cardstock right on the grids and use the line to make sure that I've got it straight. If I don't want to eyeball it, I could use this line to help make sure that my stripe there is straight. Next piece, I'm telling you this is fast. This paper is stunning. This is in the holiday catalog. If you don't have one and want one, be sure that you comment below and send me your email address. This is the paper here. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, this one's open, so I will show you. It is called Boughs of Holly, and it has some great different, I love that. Isn't that great? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Some bark, going to be good for Christmas. So really good paper. If you don't get a chance to use it all by Christmas, a lot of these patterns, so not all of them, but some of them you could definitely use later. So if you don't get a chance to use every single piece of it, these are gonna be great for other, other events. And that's usually what they try to do on the back side. If you're not able to get through all of this, which I will, but if you're not able to, then the back side works for you. In any case, this is what we are using. And it is four by three. So the importance of cutting things in four by three, and I'm gonna talk about this a hundred times throughout this season, I'm sure. Uh, one of the big things is this paper comes in 12 by 12. So if you cut it four by three, you are going to get 12 little squares out of it. So you're not gonna have any waste, not a smidge, and I like no waste, so that's easy. Another bonus of this design, by the way, um, is so pretty. Another bonus of this design, let's see if we can use our thing to kind of help us, guide us here for some straight lines. Another bonus of, of this paper is, um, or of this design, is it's very flat. So you'll have a little bit of a raised area, the knot of the bow, 
but there are no dimensionals here, so it goes through the mail, no problem, no sweat. Sometimes with Christmas cards, we put so many embellishments and layers and stack, and then it's hard to get it through the mail. Uh, okay, so that's this part. Now I'm gonna do my stamping. The paper that I'm using is very vanilla, and it is three, three by one and three quarters. Um, so that's that, and it's cherry cobbler ink. This is the old one, old one. I need to get a new one, you know why? If nothing else, because I'm going to get covered with it by the end of the day. I have it all over the edges and doesn't seem to matter when I clean it. Okay, the stamp set that I am using is awesome. It's in the Christmas catalog. It is called Brightest Glow and it has great fonts. I mean, I love, love these fonts. You'll see me using this a hundred times this year because I love it. And really good sentiments that could be inside outside sentiments, which is just really nice. Um, sometimes we just have outsides and this is really inside outside. So that is helpful for Christmas cards, especially if you don't have a lot you want to say. That always makes it super tough. Okay, so inking. Now, when I stamp this, I want room over here for my bow. So I'm going to kind of stamp it low and to the side. Ooh, and I'm going to flip that over. Love and two-sided paper right about now. Okay. So I'm going to stamp it kind of low and to the side. Not too low. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. So... I'm going to close this because seriously, it's a hazard. I'm wearing a white shirt. What was I thinking? It's like wearing a white shirt on, white outfit on spaghetti night. Okay, so this is just glued down. So that's all. This is really quick and dirty. Very dirty. Get it? Okay. Oh my gosh, that would have been funny. Funny and bad. All right, so I'm just going to layer this on here. So this stripe down here is great if you don't want to tie a ribbon. It just gives an, a color offset. If I had just put this straight on here, it would have been so plain. You really need something to help break it up a little bit. If you're trying really hard to save this paper, now I already cut it for my class, but if you're trying really hard, you could just put a piece this size and a piece this size. You would just need to get a ruler or something that you could use as a straight edge. I like these see-through rulers um, because I can see what I'm doing. But you would just, you know, line it up, make sure that it's going to be straight, and put it an inch here and an inch here. And then it, this could be empty in here, and you would be able to save a lot of paper that way. So if you have a lot of Christmas cards to make, this is a bonus. All right, so the ribbon that we're using, since I told you about my whole retired ribbons snag there, um, is this gold ribbon. It is gold or gold see how that works it is a gold ribbon it's in the annual catalog it's a shimmer so it's got a little sparkle to it and i'm using my bow folder so i have a customer whose husband makes my bows for me or not bows bow makers uh, if you would like one then send me a message and i can tell you how much they are and how much shipping to you would be um, but they are so super bonus because for christmas club i actually tie everybody's bows for them because I just love them that much. And so, look, it comes out perfect every single time. Right, and I'm going to cut it this way. Is that good enough? That's good enough. Okay, I'm going to cut it that way. And I am going to use a glue dot to stick that on. I got them out. Here they are. If you are really worried about it, you can use two glue dots. But I am just going to use one. And all I do is put my bow on top of the glue dot and really give it a hard push on the knot. So it's right under the knot. And, and if it's sticking out a little, I'm just going to fold it up and then stick it down. There you go. So there is our Christmas card for August, which is really, it's now September. Um, but I had to take that little hiatus. So here we go. One down and easy peasy. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Um, I'm going to put a I'm going to put a panel of, of vanilla inside so that you can write. But if you happen to own a gold pen and you like to do your Christmas cards in a metallic pen, this is so pretty to write on with a gold pen. If you don't, stick your vanilla in there. You already have vanilla cardstock because you got it for this piece, and it's the same cardstock. Just stick that in there. 
When I say panel, I am talking about a piece that is a quarter inch smaller than a folded card base. So this is a card base. The folded, the panel would be, instead of being five and a half by four and a quarter, it is five and a quarter by four. Okay, so five and a quarter by four piece sticks right inside. So you can write your holiday message or use a red metallic pen. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would really love to be yours. You can find my information in the description below, as well as links to all of these products, including the Not Retired Ribbon. And I hope to see you very soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.